All right. Uh, we're talking about climate now. Um, so I'm going to give you just you know a general description of what climate is. First of all, number one, a collective state of the atmosphere. What do I mean by that? Um, you know, when you go to a weather site or you hear weather forecast, what do you hear? Temperature, wind, relative humidity, barometric pressure, go on. Anyway, that's what I mean, collective state of these different types of measurements. So it's a collective state of the atmosphere. Uh, it's co always concerned with a specific location like the climate of Prescott. Uh, but here's the big deal. Here's the big difference between climate and weather right over here, long period of time. Um, now, specifically, you've probably heard, you have, I'm sure, heard me talk about normal temperatures, okay? And for normal temperatures, in climatology, normal, we capitalize the N, because it means something very specific. When you hear a normal temperature, what do you think of? What do you think of? The last 30 years. Ah, you knew that. <laughs> good, good. All right. It's an average temperature over the last 30 years. So it's a 30-year average. And it's even more specific than that. You know what the other bit of it is? Lose. We take that 30 years and we move it up every 10 years. So in other words, the 30-year average we're working on today is 1980 to 2010. So when I just told you our normal maximum temperature for today is 60 degrees Fahrenheit, it's based on that 30-year average from 1980 to 2010. Now, when we get to the year 2021, we're going to bump this up and we're going to look at the 30-year average from 1990 to 2020. Okay? Now, why do you suppose we do that? And we've got a weather record going back hundreds of years at some locations in the United States. Why wouldn't we simply take the record from the last 200 years and say that's our normal temperature? Any idea why they've gone to this? Louis? Because there was a small ice age uh, 200 years ago. Okay. You know, and, and that would affect the average. Certainly would have. Right. It, you know, what, what that tells me then is that the reason they've done this is because climate's changing, you guys. I mean, if you, you don't, you're exactly right. You don't have to go back that far historically to see major weather changes, major climate changes. So we think the 30-year running average and changing it, you know, moving it up 10 years every 10 years is going to give us a more accurate reflection of the kind of climate we're in now. Because, you know, yeah, back up until 1850, it was really cold in the Northern Hemisphere. As a matter of fact, from 1450 to 1850 was called the Little Ice Age. And we'll talk about more about that later. Okay, so then finally finishing up with this. Climate and climatology is taking a look at weather over a long period of time, whereas weather or meteorology is like right now. Okay, so that's, it's a, it's a time thing. Um, we talk about the four laws of climatology. Um, Climate and weather is energy in one form or another, and you know what that source of energy is now. Solar radiation is the source of this energy. Energy is unequally distributed around Earth. What do you mean by that? These tropical areas, you know, near zero degrees and a little further north and further south, get a tremendous amount more solar radiation and more heat than we do up at these more northerly latitudes. So that's what we mean by number three. There's more heat taken into these equatorial region from the sun than there is further north and south. So number four then is that energy is transferred to balance this inequality. So think about this. How can we get energy transferred from tropical regions into more northerly regions? Say? I heard you say wind. Wind, wind. Sure, certain types of wind. But really, specifically with that, certain types of wind associated with low pressure systems, hurricanes. One other thing to think about are ocean currents. We have a very warm ocean current that runs up the east coast of the United States, all the way up into Scandinavia and Russia. That is taking a lot of this energy 
from down in the equatorial regions up into more northerly areas. Okay, and a lot. <coughs> excuse me. A lot of what we see in weather is going to be just that. It's going to be some of this energy attempting to be transferred from equatorial regions to what we call polewards, both towards the South Pole and the North Pole. <clears throat> and one of the ways we see a lot here in North America are hurricanes, or what are really uh, should be called tropical cyclones. So we'll be talking a lot about that.